much. So wonderful to see. So wonderful to see so many of you are uh, here today. In the frigid cold. I don't, I don't understand why it had to be so cold on the date of my announcement. But I'm assuming it must be just a sign from above that I better keep my remarks real brief. I'm so thankful for my family and their love and their support and their encouragement. Public service journey. I'm so thankful for the community for giving me the opportunity to serve in the New York State Legislature for the last five years. Yeah. And I'm so thankful to each and every one of you for coming out in the bitter cold to show support to us today. I'm running to be the next congressman from the 10th yeah. Congress. Congress is dysfunctional. That's right. People are suffering. We deserve more. That's right. All throughout the neighborhoods of the 10th Congressional District, there are individuals in significant distress. There are children who are trapped in a failed public school system. There are families in desperate need of affordable housing. We have too many guns and too few jobs. We deserve more. In Washington, there are people who want to destroy Social Security. There are individuals who want to eradicate Medicare. There are people who want to shut down unemployment benefits even in the midst of a recession. We deserve more. We are in a struggle. If you think about it, for the heart and soul of our country. There are folks on the radical right who want to take us back to a very different America. That is why you see civil rights, women's rights, reproductive rights, immigration rights, workers' rights, all under attack. But when I get to Washington, I'm going to fight for this community. I'm going to fight for this city. And I'm going to fight for our President Barack Obama. Now, I think he's doing a pretty good job. He's got the intellectual capacity of W.E.B. Du Bois. Yes. And he's calm, cool, and collected like Denzel Washington. Come on. That's a pretty good combination. But there are people in this country who seem so obsessed with wanting to destroy his presidency, they're willing to take the entire American economy down with them. Yeah. Yeah. We just yeah. witnessed this a few months ago during the debt ceiling debate. These are individuals who fail to recognize objective truth as fact. There were economists on the left and economists on the right, all of whom agreed the failure to raise the debt ceiling would be catastrophic for our economy. Yet we were on the brink of economic calamity because of the stubborn behavior of those in Congress. And these are individuals who don't recognize that hypocrisy should be a constraint. Ronald Reagan raised the debt ceiling 18 times during his presidency and is viewed as a conservative icon. Yet a progressive president is forced to raise the debt ceiling in the middle of two wars that we didn't create and the worst economy since the Great Depression and we're fiscally irresponsible? Nonsense. That's a Brooklyn word. <laughs> and I'm going down to Washington to speak truth to power. Now is not the time for us to step back. Now is the time for us to fight back. We deserve a government that provides for the poor, works for working families, makes sense for the middle class, 
stands up for senior citizens and promotes prosperity. We deserve a government that innovates in the inner city, strengthens suburban communities, and revitalizes rural America. I'm going to fight for Medicare. I'm going to fight for Social Security. I'm going to fight for public education. I'm going to fight for affordable housing. And I'm going to fight for good jobs. that we're in the midst of significant adversity. Yes. But in America, we've overcome adversity before. Amen. We overcame adversity during the Civil War. We overcame adversity during the Great Depression. We overcame adversity during World War II. We overcame adversity during the Jim Crow South. And we overcame adversity in the aftermath of September 11th. We can overcome adversity today. We can make Brooklyn a better place for everyone. I'm going to work as hard as I can to justify the confidence that you have placed in me and give you the congressman and the community and the country that we deserve. God bless you and God bless you.